it, the, the platform formerly known as Twitter X has also been suspended here. This is uh, it's been suspended since Saturday. So this is the fifth day that it has been suspended. And since the Internet lines were disrupted during the elections, they still have not resumed uh, uh, in most parts of Pakistan, which is why you are seeing this kind of a disruption. So it's really not back to the future. We are really struggling with uh-huh. the medieval ages. As 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 you question back to the past, it's the PDM government all over again with President Asif Ali Zardari now uh, taking on the position of a president and uh, Bilawal Bhutto Zardari. It's very interesting to note is very keen not to take up a position in the cabinet. People's Party does not want to take any ministries. They just want the constitutional posts. That is the Senate chairman. Uh, they want the governors in, in Punjab because they feel that Punjab is the largest province and in Pakistan, whoever wins Punjab wins Pakistan. So they want a governor in um, uh, in Punjab and one in Balochistan. That's the deal that they've uh, you know cut with the PMLN. And then the PMLN will be in charge of the uh, cabinet here. They will be sharing, uh, I think, at least a minimum of three ministries with the MQM, which is the Karachi-based uh, MQM, uh, Altaf Hussain, formerly, uh, you know, led by Altaf Hussain. So that is the deal that, um, you know, the power sharing deal that has been struck. But it would be interesting to see how the Pakistan People's Party avoids taking ministries in the center. They have asked for ministerial posts in Punjab because that is a province that they're very much interested in making inroads. Now, Munizia, I we are, of course, going to set up a longer conversation when you have a better network. But I think a lot of people will want to know what happens to Imran Khan. He's currently in jail. Uh, you know, his proxies did very well uh, at the elections. They were fielded his independence. What, what, what's going to happen to him? Well, I, I'm sorry. I think uh, there is a problem with the Internet. But from what I can understand is that you're asking me about Imran Khan. Now, uh, with Imran Khan, he actually didn't do as well as he did in the 2018 elections. In the 2018 elections, they had around 116 seats. Now they have 92 uh, independent-backed, uh, PTI-backed independent candidates. Imran Khan stays on in prison. And he has for now, abandoned the path of dharnas and of protests and has decided that he will contest the election results. Uh, What they say is that the election has been stolen, it has been rigged, and they will go to the tribunals and to the courts to ensure that they get back what they claim is 180 seats. So so a two-thirds majority is what they're claiming. And if they do not get that, they have made up their mind not to strike any power-sharing deal with either the MQM or the uh, Nawaz-backed PMLN or the People's Party. So they are now uh, preparing to sit in the opposition. The party is now being led by the lawyers. So there is some kind of an infighting also within the party because the politician had gone underground after the 9th of May when they attacked military installations. Since then, they have emerged again. And there is some kind of an infighting between the newly, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, the new leadership, which is composed of the lawyers and the politicians. Um, however, they have decided that they will sit on opposition benches, despite the fact that they are right now the biggest group, as we would say, in the National Assembly. What is much more interesting, Barkha, is that they have joined the Sunni Itihad Council. The Sunni Itihad mm-hmm. Council is a religious right-wing party. They have done this in order to ensure that they get the reserve seats because they are independent candidates and they will not get any reserve seats. So once they join this party, they will get reserve seats. The uh, the problem with the Sunni Itihad Council is that they were the ones who um, supported Mumtaz Qadri, who uh, allegedly and, and, and proved to be had killed Salman Taseer, was the murder of Salman Taseer. They have also been seen to be very anti-America. Um, and and they have always taken out protests, you know, in, in favor of those who have killed other people, you know, basically uh, accusing them of blasphemy. So um, this particular party is seen to be a right wing political party. And there is some disappointment amongst their voters who are considered to be progressive that PTI should not have joined a right wing extremist party. 